Mike Boyd has a lot of lock picking videos. He has the combination lock. He has the lock, the the regular key lock with a, a lock picking set. He has a regular key lock with paper clips. I think he even put out another one since then. Um, long story short, I'm gonna try to get all those done in this video. I'm gonna see if I can do this without looking because essentially that's what I need to do. So I'm gonna get the feel for it and then go from there. And the reason I can do this is because I know the code is zero, zero, zero. So I can know how far off I am on each side and then develop some feel for it at least. Zero, one, zero. It's not by one. Okay. I have no patience. So I'm going to mix this bad boy up. Eyes closed. That is the code. Good to go. Let's see if I can get it. I'm going to guess a four at the bottom. I guess a one in the middle. Ha ha, seven, one, four. Yeah. Cool. I'm fairly confident I can mix this up again and have no problem solving it. So let's try. One at the bottom. There we go. Nine eight one. Another one down. Combination lock down. It was kind of easy. Um, it was harder than I expected, but it was easy. Forty one minutes. I mean, it's not nothing crazy. Uh, I will say the key lock. Bit of a different story. Who wants to pick a lock? Paper clips. I know I do. I wasted almost an hour without looking at a tutorial trying to pick this lock with paper clips. I had the wrong paper clips. Went and got the big paper clips. Got something close to a pair of needle nose pliers. So let's see how this works. The tutorial made things ten times easier. I. I mean, no more room for excuses, thinking that I had the wrong tools. I mean, I knew I had the right tools. Speaking of the right tools, let's meet the team. Choose your character. So my entire issue is when I put my tensioner in the lock, I can't, I can't move this if it bumps into my tensioner. So I'm trying to find a way to get my tensioner in the top like that. I'm just trying to find different places to put my tensioner. Oh. Yeah. oh that took forever if i was mike boyd right now i would do it again but i'm, I'm 
not. Yet here I am. I'm gonna try to do it again. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. It's number two. Did I actually learn it? I, th I think so. I'm not gonna break any world records for how fast I do it, but I do think I could do it if I wanted to, so. Not too shabby. I don't know if it's obvious how excited I was when I finally picked that lock, but it was, I was very excited to get that done and over with because I, I spent so much time getting nowhere with it that I was just, I was ready to be done. What tips would I give? Um, for the combination lock, it's all about feel. Once you, you have to pull on the latch the entire time. And as the number clicks into the right spot, you'll feel it click up a little bit. And I started from bottom to top and I went in that order and that worked perfectly fine for me. As for the key lock, um, make sure not to assume that you have a certain pin. My big issue was assuming that I had the very back pin or assume that I had the very front pin. My biggest game changer when picking a uh, lock with paper clips was changing my tensioner from the bottom to the top. Because when I was in the bottom, I couldn't use my rake. I couldn't use my pick. Um, so then when I put it to the top, it was harder to hold onto. But once I got the, the right grip and the right bend in the tensioner, um, it, I could actually pick the lock. So I think that's everything. I think that's everything that I would recommend. Yeah, that's everything that I have. I hope you learned something. You probably didn't. I hope you enjoyed more importantly, and it's been good having you.